What is up, everybody? Welcome to Rev Time. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about. Well, it was a suggestion, actually, um, and the suggestion was to get your hair cut. I'm letting my hair grow out, as you guys can tell, and I, it's going to get way worse before it actually uh, gets worse. Anyways, I digress. It was uh, uh, Harry B uh, who chimes in on quite a few of the forums, uh, or I shouldn't say forums, in the comments. Uh, asked that I would uh, talk about using a trim arm, or as he called it, whammy bar, uh, just, you know, and how I approach it musically. Now, I've done a video on this before, but it was more kind of focused on how I set up the bar, not so much or as much uh, how I use it. So I thought that might be kind of a cool, uh, you know, topic to uh, to maybe look at a little bit. Um, I, I, I always thought it was odd that these are called trim arms because they don't they don't tremolo, they vibrato. But I'll let you guys hash that out in the comments if you want. Um, but anyways, I uh, there's a you know a few ways to use uh, you know a vibrato. Um, there's the slow kind of. And I remember in the 80s and 90s, that was super popular, especially on sessions. They always wanted to hear that kind of thing happen with a really slow uh, vibrato. I mean, you know, and, and, you know, the other type of vibrato, which would be more of what I would consider, uh, like even something like uh, someone like Brian Setzer would do like the... And that sounds great, but you know, I don't think it's as satisfying as just that slow, uh, really just sweet kind of lyrical uh, vibrato. I mean, that's, you know, what you're really going for is you want to sound like a singer. You want to sound, you know, lyrical. And, and singers generally will hit the note and then they'll they'll shake the note, they'll they'll vibrato, and some don't. You know, there's definitely singers on Disney that, good lord, back in the '50s, yikes, and they never turned it off. But for the most part, that's what you're going for when you're using a trem armor. In this case, you know, vibrato. <laughs> So yeah, I really dig using it for that. That was kind of my first experience with it. And then of course, you know, Jeff Beck, you know, was a pretty big influence on me. Uh, you know, later Jeff Beck, obviously, but. And for me, that that type of vibrato where you're kind of swooping into the notes, just once again, makes it sound more lyrical. I mean, think about it. If I just played this line, what would I, what did I do? If I just did. That sounds good, but that sounds better. And I'm just swooping into certain notes. And then this stuff, that's an Eddie thing. And I've also heard, uh, you know, Jimmy Herring do it. Uh, so you guys can kind of mess with that, but 
but that's an Eddie thing. Um, I don't really pull up on the bar. A lot of guys do, uh, you know, guys like uh, Scotty Henderson will do that. Um, I don't tend to really bend notes down. In other words, I, I'm less apt to go as much as I'm more apt to do that kind of thing. But that's to each his own. I, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, pick if you want to get good at that style of thing where you're swooping in and out. Just pick something that you would normally play. And it, it is easier to just use your fingers because you can kind of hang on to the bar better. But you can still do it. You can still do it with a pick. But I will say I always use the shoulder of the pick. Um, eh, that's probably not going to show up there. But yeah, the shoulder of the pick. Uh, just because it sounds a little darker, but it also keeps me a little bit closer to the bar without having too much of the edge of the pick out. So try that too. But but yeah, just pick anything, um, you know, instead of me just going like this. That sounds cool, but that sounds better. So yeah, just pick pick lines, even if it ends up just being a scale. just to get the feel over it. Or if it's a blues riff, you know, then. And then, you know, you can shake the notes a little bit broader. You know, I do. It just depends on what I'm, you know, wanting to do, you know, from just doing the chord stuff. I like to do a really slow kind of vibrato, but sometimes, you know, that's kind of the Jeff Beck thing. But then I'll try and slow it back down because once again, it just sounds more musical, sounds more uh, lyrical. Um, and then even on like higher gain stuff. Uh, case you're getting more into the you know the dive bombs and the <laughs> which is really fun too but anyways that's I just kind of wanted to at least touch on at least how I you know tend to use uh, a trem arm. Uh, it's not that I can't live without it. Uh, one thing I would say is make sure you can live without it. In other words, try and, and be lyrical without it. You know, so if it's, you know, um, cause there was a point there where I was, I was pretty addicted to using that bar and, uh, you know, I started looking at ways to maybe sound a little bit like I was using a bar. Because it, it just was keeping me more musical. It just, it's really just a good exercise for your left hand anyways, just to kind of keep that strength up. But once again, it forces you to be, uh, you know, more lyrical and musical without the use of, uh, you know, a trim arm. Because like I said, I think they're really cool but I don't want to hear them all the time, me personally. Um, and I certainly am scared of the addiction of it because <laughs> they, they are so fun. But, but anyways, let me know in the comments below uh, how you guys use trem arms. If, you, if you're more into kind of the metal side of it, uh, you know, there's Scotty Henderson, especially Jeff Beck, uh, you know, so many guys that are, that are really, really great, uh, you know, doing the whole trem arm uh, thing. But yeah, let me know, you know, what you guys are into. Uh, do you prefer like a Bigsby? Are you still hardcore like Floyd Rose? Because one of these days I do want to, I used to be avidly against Floyd Rose, but it wasn't because I thought they weren't good. I just thought we had moved on um, and I couldn't have been more wrong. 
So uh, essentially, at some point, I, I do want to round up a guitar that's got a Floyd on it again, because that's a completely different sounding and feeling, uh, you know, vibrato system or, you know, trim arm, whatever, whatever you want to call it, that, that sounds really, really great. And Bigsby's feel different. Um, you know, tremolos on Duesenberg's are different. The tremolos on my uh, uh, PRS guitars are some of the best, I think, as far as just uh, vintage no locking trims. They just feel like killer. Obviously, the the tremolo on this Tyler's fabulous, feels great. But yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think. And and as always, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.